All right, let's get the layout of the Chennai market with Ganesh Vasudevan, CEO of IndiaProperty.com. Uh, thanks very much, Ganesh, for joining us today. So let's start with Sri Perimudur. Realty market that cater to people who had the jobs within that area or its confines. Now, if you take away the jobs, the real estate market starts looking shaky, isn't it? Is that a worrying sign for developers who are launching projects there? Yeah, the Sri Parmadur residential market was spawned as a result of the uh, manufacturing activity that uh, started uh, in late 1990s and early 2000 when several multinational manufacturing uh, uh, factories were uh, you know, set up on the um, Chennai Bangalore Highway. Uh, that obviously resulted in a lot of uh, uh, captive residential accommodation demand for both blue collar and white collar workers. Uh, which uh, you know gave a big fill up to this particular market. It was extremely attractive from a pricing perspective. Uh, you, while the, the, the work required a significant commute to the factory, building townships and integrated uh, residential uh, complexes in and around the factories was was a great idea. And uh, several developers uh, you know launched projects keeping this premise and assuming a certain projected growth in uh, the manufacturing activity in that corridor. Keeping that in mind, a lot of projects were launched. Uh, but uh, you know, clearly the, the expected uh, growth in uh, economic activity in this particular area hasn't truly really, uh, been in line to projections which has resulted in a significant oversupply in this market. Okay, so manufacturing, well it's a story in across the country that manufacturing hasn't taken off, investments have been really low. But let's move on to a market which is not manufacturing dependent, which is OMR. Absorption here has also fallen beyond 2010. The market is slowing down. But it really hasn't affected project launches along the corridor. So, what are the dynamics really at work here? Yeah, see, unlike the manufacturing corridor, the source of employment in the IT industry is far more spread across the spectrum of uh, different uh, sizes of uh, you know uh, IT firms. Uh, in a typical manufacturing scenario, you have the manufacture, the core manufacture, like let's take automobiles, automobiles and the ancillary units are at best. Uh, generators of employment as opposed to IT where uh, right from you know large once the large organization large IT company set up uh, their offices in the Sirisiri IT park and also in Tidal Park uh, in between there were several uh, you know commercial real estate options that were available uh, which were far far more attractive in rental rates compared to the central business district in Chennai which prompted a migration of several small and medium sized software companies to the IT corridor which kept the demand going for uh, this area. Okay, so let's move beyond uh, Chennai now. Interesting phase, one of your southern markets, Hyderabad is at. Uh, Bangalore is also now moving towards Sarjapur Road. Chennai is looking beyond OMR at micro markets like Purur. So overall, what do you think is the big south story? The south is, uh, in, in general has been a relatively insulated market from price volatility because of the largely end user oriented nature of the market in terms of you know, the, the investor element is limited and to that extent speculation and the property market is uh, you know less uh, which has kind of controlled prices. So to that extent it is a relatively safe uh, haven from uh, for the for the property uh, buyer. Uh, but uh, now and in all these uh, markets particularly the three southern metros uh, it's infrastructure led development that is uh, uh, kind of driving growth today which is a healthy sign. Just one last question, uh, you know, let's look beyond the tier 1 cities, tier 2 development has been a bit slow, there was a lot of potential that one or at least expected from Coimbatore, Vizag, Kochi, etc. It attracted some major players but has it really taken off to their expectations? Yeah, again, uh, it's, it's, it's a function of the size of the market and how attractive, what kind of employment gener generation is. Uh, happening because residential consumption is uh, directly correlated to the employment uh, uh, generation in that particular area. So, in Cochin, is is clearly uh, you know it's, it's inching closer. It's knocking on the doors of becoming a full-fledged metro. And after Cochin, if it's Mysore, it's because of uh, you know Infosys uh, first setting up its uh, development center there, and uh, the, it was a great alternative to Bangalore and quite close by. So, typically, such shifts is what uh, makes a tier two market attractive. As far as Coimbatore goes, Coimbatore has been a great manufacturing hub in the south. Uh, it's got a very well, uh, you know, industrial, well-developed industrial network. Industrial areas are, uh, you know, in, in diverse range of industries. Manufacturing is a key activity here, which is very robust, and therefore uh, demand in Coimbatore is likely to continue. 
Ganesh Vasudevan, thank you very much for joining us today and sharing all your insights into the South India markets, Chennai, Bangalore. So you've got a bit of an overlay of all the markets in South, the key tier two cities as well.